back guys with Monday, December 17th, um, sales update, uh, five things that sold, actually I guess one is from a couple days ago, but they finally paid, so we'll start with that, that's the chiropractic textbook, I bought four of these type of books for $3 each, one guy offered me 30 across the board for all of them, I countered with like 60 a piece, um, he countered on just this one with 40, like on Saturday, Friday or Saturday, I accepted it, and then he never countered on the other ones. Um, he finally ended up paying today. I'm going to message him and see if he still wants the other ones at 40 Honestly, I'll just take it to get rid of him. Either way, 3 into 40 that's pretty good for an old book. And honestly, I already paid for the other three that I bought too, so if I have to sit on them for a while, no worries there. Uh, two video games, Luigi's Mansion, 37 shipped. That came out of a GameCube lot for 25 bucks with a system and also Mario Kart. No, Pokemon Coliseum was in there too. And then there's also like... Blaze Blue, I think it's what it's called. I'm not sure. It's a PSP game. It sold for 15 shipped. Had that one for a little while now, but happy to get rid of it. Here's a TI Inspire CX, the CAS edition. This one I paid 54 from Facebook. A guy wanted to get he needed money for gas, I think he said. Second time I did this did this for a calculator. And um he said if I could meet him, he'd do 50. He had it like listed at 75, but he said he'd take 50. I could meet him that day. So I went and picked it up, um, and this sold for 110 shipped. You can see it works. It took a while to sell though, so you probably don't want to spend 50 unless you're okay with a little bit less of a return. But for me, I'm okay with that. I'll probably walk away with 35 or 40 bucks. Um, easy sale. So, and lastly, is actually an item that already shipped once and was returned. Um, this return though was clearly my fault. Um, I'm surprised the person didn't notice it before purchasing it especially as they claim they know a lot about golf. So these are Nike um, slingshot irons. Um, it's the three through the pitching wedge. There are, whatever that is, eight of them here, something like that. Paid $2 each at a Goodwill, I think, for these. So 14 shipped. I mean, 14 out the door. And I ended up, or 16 out the door, sorry. And then... Ended up selling the first time for $150. they are left-handed, so left-handed clubs are a little bit harder to move sometimes. Um, you can get good money for them, but just there's less lefty golfers than righties. Um, but they sold the first time, and I copied someone's title, um, did a sell similar. And unfortunately, they were the same. The clubs were the same in their picture and everything, but I didn't read their title, and it said graphite um, shafts. If you know anything about golf, these are not graphite. These are called steel shafts. Um, most of your irons usually had steel sh um, shafts. Some of them now have graphite and you can get them, you know, a little bit, um, I guess more personalized or whatever you want to your liking. But, um, I'm surprised if he knew about golf, he even saw these. There were tons of pictures that it even says at one point on one of the irons that they're steel. Um, and he still bought them thinking they were graphite. So it was my fault because in the title it said that, and then in the description because I copied my title into my description. So it was a bummer. got a return. I paid like 18 to ship them, I think. And then, so I paid 18 both ways, so 36 plus the 18 or 16 that I paid. So that's, what, $52 already invested in these, um, plus whatever fees I lost and all that. So I ended up relisting them for the same price. Took about a month and a half or so to sell. And they sold for $150 again. I did correct the listing, so it does reflect steel now. And that one, I just have to eat the on that one. So I think they're going to the East Coast, so I'll probably spend another $18 or $20 bucks shipped. But I'll still actually walk away with close to, you know, $50, $60 bucks when it's all said and done. Which is pretty good in my, you know, for what I think for some golf clubs that I only paid $18 bucks for, or $16 bucks for. And Nike Golf Clubs, if you know anything about golf, not necessarily the highest end brand, but they sell really well. People who like Nike, I've had the best of luck selling Nike Clubs. Um, sometimes they sell way quicker, quicker than Titleist or TaylorMade and stuff like that. So that's it though, 150 on those. I left them bubble wrapped and everything. So what I do is I just alternate the sides. So we'll put this long end down here and that end down here, and then we will kind of tape them together and then we I have a big box I'll put them in and I'll put some padding in between the um, shafts just so they don't bounce up against each other and we should be good to go so if anything else sells I'll let you know if not we'll see what tomorrow brings. here are the sales from Tuesday um, ended up being seven sales you'll see five of them here two more 
um, are in storage. Uh, they didn't sell till later in the day, the latter part of the day, so I didn't pick them up yet. But I'll hopefully have them on the back end. And I have about an hour left in the day or so, so maybe something else will sell. But um, not a whole lot. Really easy to pack, which is nice. I had like $72 as of like 6 o'clock, and all of a sudden some stuff started coming through, so that was cool. Uh, hopefully we'll get a couple more before the end of the night, though, but here is what we have. Uh, two PS1 games just listed these like an hour ago. I was working um, on getting some stuff up. And the Resident Evil sold for 30 shipped. Comes with, excuse me, both discs, but no manual. That's out of the um, fire dumpster dive lot, so that was cool. I already got 30 bucks there. Same with this game. It also came out of there. It's I actually have the manual, but I listed it as disc only. And I actually underpriced. This game's worth about 30 or so shipped with, you know, complete with the manual. I was looking at some comps and saw some selling for like 20 for the disc only. And I'm like, oh, I, that's what I have, even though I have the manual and the other picture that I had. Um, so I didn't put the two together. And then I really should have probably listed it for at least 25 and I would have got it. It sold like instantly. So someone probably had the search tagged or whatever, so they got notifications. So I got 20 for the disc. I'll just keep the manual because I found this game a couple times. I'm not going to throw it in there because the person got such a good deal and I'd rather, you know, save it for in case I find another disc by itself. So 20 shipped there. I'll put that in just an empty black DVD case and ship it out. So still pretty cool. That's 50 bucks just from that dumpster dive fire um, lot that I got. So pretty cool. A volunteers inflatable football helmet it's dead stock i have no idea there's no damage to the seal really so aside from this little tiny hole there but it doesn't look like it's punctured or anything so hopefully it works well i sold it for 11.99 shipped it came out of a big lot of tennessee and miami dolphin stuff which is weird because tennessee's college team um obviously miami down in florida nfl team i guess that was their those were their two teams, and they had a bunch of hats and different stuff, and I've sold them over time, so a pretty cool deal there. Another hat from the hat lot. This is probably, I sold so far this one, and the one I sold, you may have seen in the last week's video. Um, so two in like three days or so, or four days. Uh, this is probably, the two that I sold are the top, two of the top four, so I got two more other ones that are pretty good. The other ones are just kind of slow movers, but it's a Toyota on a corduroy hat. Definitely older. Um... I've done well with the big Toyota spellouts on old hats before, and Hondas, I've done well on both of those. So, sold for 35 shipped on this one, super happy with that. I paid 4 bucks for all the hats, and I've so far sold $75, which is awesome. And then lastly, a bunch of Sony um, tapes. If you look closely, you'll find one is not like the other. Time up, it's this one right here, it's a 120. Um, I bought these 8 right here on the bottom. For like 10 bucks off offer up i was on a bunch of polaroids and he just brought this out so he wanted 10 i didn't really want to look it up in front of him but i was like okay sure they got to be worth that and then i found this one and i was like oh i'll lot them together and then later realized they're not the same one but i just left the listing as it was and just changed the description and someone finally paid 35 ship for him so had like 11 dollars in they'll go in a padded flat rate due to weight and the size um so that's like what seven something so we'll end up making some money, probably, you know, make 10 bucks back or whatever, but we won't make a whole lot on it. So maybe we'll make 15, but happy to get rid of them. Um, sealed media definitely has tanked a little bit, but there is still stuff worth getting. And obviously if you can get it for the right price, it can still sell. So hope you guys enjoy and I'll hopefully have more after that. Hello, these are the final sales from Tuesday. Three items, two of them I mentioned, one was this Craftsman charger. I paid like seven bucks for this. It sold for thirty. Shipped. Um, does work. It's um, kind of. Pro I don't know if it'll make it pad if I right. It might be a little too big. I don't know. It'll probably cost about eight to ship. So we'll make ten bucks on that. Pretty easy. Um, this is a eyeglass case. I don't even know where I got this from, but I think I just found it in a box of stuff. Um, it sold on a best offer yesterday of fifteen dollars. I listed this last night. It was a red Game Boy Advance SP. Um, the thing is beat up. You can see there's a, someone drilled a hole there to make it, it's all jacked up. It's got scratches and scuffs everywhere. The screen works well. Only problem is sometimes the power button doesn't work. You'll find that on some of these. Um, if you click it too fast or whatever, it won't actually connect the power. So I sold it for 30 shipped, probably underpriced it. Probably still could have got 35 for it, but, um, with all this damage in the back, you can kind of see it really messed it up. Um, I didn't want to ask too much for it, but 
does work and play games. It went to some video game retro fitting guy. I think he buys them and like modifies them and stuff. So pretty cool though. I paid 15 for it out of a big lot of stuff. So um, didn't make a ton on this one because I thought it was going to really work well. And I didn't really o look it over too much. Um, so I'll make my money back. Probably still make another six or seven bucks. Um, the other video game stuff was a super good deal though. So if you average it out, we did well on everything. So we'll see. Today's uh, already Wednesday and I've already had over $300, almost probably $400 in sales. So it's been an awesome Wednesday. Hopefully it keeps up. I'll show you guys that stuff later. Hey everyone, these are the Wednesday sales. Had a really awesome day today. Um, three items over $100 sold, which is always cool. A lot of video game stuff and kind of a slight mix of other stuff. So um, my listings are mostly becoming video games at this point because of how often this connection is getting me stuff. So... I know for some of you, you know, may not be getting or have that quantity, so it's hard to just come across that many video games at one time. But still keep on listening to do sell other stuff, and honestly, some of these titles you want to look out for um, if you're out there in the wild looking for stuff to sell. So, um, first off, we'll go up top. We have a San Francisco 49ers starter pro line gold satin jacket. There is a stain down the front, right kind of where my hand is, and there's stains on the sleeves. It's far from good, um, like, mint condition or anything. Uh, you can see the button right there. Um, I picked this up in a big lot from a storage unit guy. It looks cool. I think this is the 80s one or 90s. It's not the chalk line one, which is the best one you want, it seems. But these always do well. I listed really high at 105 or best offer. Because, can you get a backup look there? You can see the whole thing. I wanted to see how... Um, you know, the highest offer I could get, I'd probably take it in factoring and shipping and everything. Oddly enough, someone from San Francisco paid full price today. It's been up for probably two months, maybe. Uh, I think I, I think I started at like 119 and I dropped it to 105, and he paid full price. So I probably had 20 bucks invested in or something like that um, with all the stuff that I bought from that guy. But really happy to sell that. It's going to sounds like a fan up in San Francisco, so pretty cool. Uh, another big item, not the biggest, but um, second biggest item that's sold is a Kid Comfort, like I think it's Duder. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's like a carrying hiking type backpack for a kid. I paid 20 at a garage sale by me. They wanted 25, offer them 20. It's just missing the little bars that go in here for the sunshade. And there's no shade either. Um, these do really well. I listed it for 119, shipped, and it sold like almost instantly. A lot of people were selling these with bids, like 20 shipping plus 46, you know, on bids and only getting 66 bucks. This is definitely something like, like most things, you want to list high and uh, people are buying. If they want this, they're going to come out and pay for it because these are super expensive brand new. So, happy with that. Here's a little Polaroid SX70. This is the Model 2. Um, in the haul video, I actually opened it all up, so I'm not going to open it here just because it's kind of a pain with one hand. It's beat up though, as you can see. Um, I got this in a storage unit lot that I bought from a guy. Uh, he buys storage units. I buy a bunch of stuff from his storage unit, and um, I had 90 bucks invested in all that stuff, and this sold today for 40 bucks. So I sold it as is. Um, look out for the brown leather ones; they do pretty well too. Here's a little Donkey Kong shirt. I paid like two bucks for it. It finally sold for 11 shipped. Nothing crazy. Wouldn't buy it again. Um, you can tell it's an older listing too because of the bags, not my normal one. Um, but yeah, happy to get rid of that for 11 chips. Here's a Matthew Henry commentary. Sold on the best offer for $12.50. Um, this one I think I paid 2 bucks for. Um, a little bookmark in there. Thought I, there was a bunch in here in the beginning, but I guess I missed that one. Um, so yeah, paid two fifty or paid 2 for that. Sold for $12.50 shipped. It'll go medium mail. It's one of those ones I wouldn't buy again. Um, I usually take chances on certain Bibles, but now I have a better idea of which ones do well. So... I'm a little bit pickier. Sometimes the commentaries do well, but usually they're multi-volume commentaries you want to look out for. So, um, and then the video game stuff, Final Fantasy 18, 18, Final Fantasy 8 sold for 18 shipped. Um, that came out of the dumpster dive fire lot. If you haven't seen the video, check it out. Sukaden 2, rare game. That sold, can, also came out of the same dumpster. That sold for 150 shipped. So so far we have like. I don't know, we're over $200, I think, in sales from that dumpster fire situation. Again, if you haven't seen the video, check it out. 
Um, I don't put links in here or anything. I just, there's no editing to my videos if you haven't noticed already. I don't have time for that. So, um, but if you check my past videos, you'll see it's a pretty cool story. This also came out of that lot. It's Castlevania PS2. Um, unfortunately, some of the games, especially the PS2s, the cases were a little melted or had a real ashy smoke smell. So I had to toss them in the manuals. I was hoping I could salvage some of them once I cleaned them up, but more of them just had that smell and I didn't want to sell that. But the discs were in like almost perfect shape, no smell, and worked well. So 10 bucks shipped on that, happy with that. And then some other games I've had for a little while, Spawn sold for 10 shipped, Journey for PS3 sold for 15 shipped, Eco or Ico or whatever, this sold for 16 shipped for PS2. And this is a Commodore 64 fast load cartridge. Um, this sold for 20 on a best offer. I paid like 50, whoops, 50 cents for this on a, and this date sale with a bunch of other Commodore stuff. So hope you guys enjoy Thursday. Hopefully it'll be good, but today was awesome. And if you have any questions, let me Hey guys, these are the sales from Thursday. Five sales, you only see four here. Uh, one I cannot find. It's a Spyro DS game. I've looked where all the video game stuff is and a couple other spots where it could have been misplaced. Can't find it. I'll check storage tomorrow morning because maybe it's in a couple containers over there that were brought over. Um, but I have no idea where it is. It's been listed, I think, for a little while now, too. So that's kind of discouraging. We'll obviously have to cancel it if we don't have it, which sucks. But I can't seem to find it. I don't have an extra one lying around. So... Hopefully we'll find it. Good luck to me for that. Um, what did sell, though, and what we do have is only four things. So not a whole lot, but a uh, pretty good dollar amount-wise. So we'll start off with the best thing. It's the Star Traction Machine. I'm not going to take it out. It's kind of a pain to open all the zippers. But I showed you, I think, in another haul video what it looked like. Or you can just um, go on eBay, look for Star with two R's Traction Machine. It's like this blue-looking machine. You'll notice it when it comes up. Um, I paid 10 bucks for it at an estate sale. They didn't have it marked. It was the last day of the sale. And she said, would you do 10 for it? And I said, sure. It sold today with the case and everything for 160 I listed the bag was included, but it's pretty dusty and beat up. Just from being in the garage, but the machine is in good shape. So uh, 160 shipped. It will probably cost 30 bucks. It's not really that heavy, and it should fit in a smaller box. Um, I don't even know where it's going either, so that'll factor in as well. Um, actually, if you watched yesterday's part of the video where I sold that, um, I think it was yesterday's, the hiking bag for the kid. It ended up going to Maine, so from California to Maine was a pain in the butt. It cost me 43 bucks to ship, and I was hoping like 30 It cost me 43 so we still made good money, but that stunk that they bought it from so far away. So, And this one, though, 160 shipped. Here's a Wii. Console, cables, sensor bar, no controllers, no games, 40 bucks shipped. I paid 25 for the system and I get some other stuff. I part out the two controllers that go with it for like 25 to 30. System, now I've been selling them like this for 40 and then I usually get some games so I just sell those individually if they're worth anything. If they're not, I just put them to the side until I get a whole bunch. So that's that. Another video game sold a really good one. This one sells pretty well for me. I got 18 shipped for it. I threw it in the plastic case because it came with it, so I just included it. Um, again, 18 shipped for a little Game Boy Color game, so pretty awesome. And then here, um, probably my favorite clothing brand to sell. This and probably Untuck It. Um, I don't find them that often, but when I do, they're always good sellers. The cool, I just showed these recently in the haul, I think. 4032s. I paid 8 bucks. They sold for full price 60 ships. Some people will sell these things for way, way cheaper than what they should. Um, I list them pretty high. I do put best offer on them. I was hoping at least 50 per pair, um, but I got full price 60 on this one, so pretty cool. If anything else sells, it'll probably be tomorrow because only seven minutes until Friday, so the, today's the 20th. Um, I gotta pack all this up before I go to bed, and then I will um, try to find that game. You might see it. If not, that means I didn't find it, or I found it too late, maybe. So, hope you guys are doing well. Take hey everyone. Quick glimpse of what sold for the weekend. Just figured I'd show you guys a little bit of what it looks like leaving storage. All this was in there. This bucket's full of all kinds of junk, and then a couple of bigger items over here. So, hopefully, you'll see everything else after. Hey everyone, uh, these are the weekend sales um, for the weekend of the 21st through the 23rd of December. Um, 
very busy weekend, 25 sales for a weekend going into Christmas. I didn't expect, expect a whole lot, uh, but we did pretty well. Most of you have already seen or already probably had the Christmas holiday or whatever you're celebrating. Uh, maybe even New Year's by the time this video comes out. So hopefully, though, it's sooner rather than later, but I hope you all had a good time and were blessed with your families. I got a lot to do here before um, Christmas. I got to work a half day on Christmas Eve. And then hopefully we can relax for a few days before getting back to the grind. So uh, this is what's sold. If you look around, you'll see quite a bit of different stuff. Um, but you'll probably notice there are no clothing items. So not one single clothing item sold. I did get an offer or two on some. Very few, maybe two or three in total the whole weekend. Nothing worth jumping on. Um, so that part of my business is just real slow right now. So that's why I'm focused on the video games and the hard goods because they're still moving. So let's go ahead and jump right in. If you guys did watch my um, video about the dumpster dive and fire, I mentioned, I believe, the RC car out of there. This is the one right here. This is the RC. It's like actually a truck. I think it was a truck. Um, you can see it's super dirty. You know. I listed it as is uh, with a bunch of photos of the damage that it's broken. It's just for parts. Um, but these things are pretty valuable. So someone offered me $93 for it. Um, and I took it. Um, this tire you can see here is actually like melted a little bit down there. Uh, they have, some of the other ones are actually okay. They probably just would work. Maybe need a little air. Um, I don't know much about it, but I just listed it for parts, and then it sold for 93 bucks. It will probably cost a good 25 to ship it. It's not actually that heavy, but um, it is a little bit bigger. So that was cool. That was free out of the dumpster. Um, some video game stuff. This is a Wii console sold for 40 shipped. Here is a Viper um, Garage Door Remote. This came out of a Savers bag for like $1.99, and this sold for like $21.99, so that was cool. This is a Bushnell uh, Pin Seeker 1500. It is a range finder for golf. Um, this came out of a storage unit. The guy that I buy from, not my storage unit, but a guy that I buy from. And um, I pay like 90 bucks for everything, I think. And this alone sold for $55, so that was cool. Um, here's a bunch of Rook cards. Um, I sold these in the past. If you get a whole bunch of them, um, you can do pretty well. So these all sold for 20 shipped. You got to get them for super cheap. Um, so I maybe would do it again if I got them, like, all these for, like, a buck. But otherwise, they're probably going to take padded flat rate to ship them. So I might make 8 bucks or so, 7 bucks, But, yeah, I think they used to do a little bit better. Um, two PS2 Fats. Um, I was just complaining to my wife that... I have all these PS2 fats, like five of them, I think, including these two. And I was like, man, these are the slowest of all my video games to sell. And sure enough, two sold last night. Um, same price, $48. One has a controller and one comes with no controller. So at one time, I guess I thought I could get a little bit more for them. Without the controller, still get 48 bucks. And then I looked and I was like, I'll just drop the price on this one. And they both ended up selling for the same price, but one person had a controller, one person didn't. So still happy to get rid of them. Here's probably the old, one of the oldest listings I had up. It's an old cribbage board. Um, I paid like a dollar for this at a garage sale and it finally sold for 13 shipped. Um, it may be over first class, so if I make any money, it's very small. I would not recommend buying that. Another older listing, too. It's this little wash right here, this little Timex. It's broken. I just sold it for parts for 10 shipped. It is a Disney one. so uh, That I think I got in a big lot of stuff, so I just listed it to make a little bit of money. Pokemon Black. 22 shipped. It is an authentic one. Um, go on um, YouTube. You can find some ways to authenticate them. It's not. It's not guarantee. I mean, you can just make your best guess by looking at a couple of things. So it's not focusing well. But that one is a good one. Um, here is a game called Carrier for Dreamcast. This came out of a big, I think a $10 PlayStation lot I bought, and this was in there as well. And that sold for I think 15 ship just for the disc. Uh, Golden Sun for DS, sold for 15 shipped as well. This is a... I don't know if it's going to open up. Maybe. There we go. don't want to show you on the back of this card because it's a CD key. It's the Microsoft uh, Windows NT Workstation. I have the CD key here. Um, that sold for 10 shipped. Something, again, that just came in a big lot of stuff and I made some money on it. Here's an old repair manual. I paid 50 cents and it sold for 12 shipped, so happy about that. Here's a GameCube controller. Um, this was 
Sorry about the pause there, guys. Uh, my dog was having an issue, so I'd take care of that. Um, GameCube controller sold. It's the Indigo, I think it's called Indigo with the clear back. That sold for 32 shipped. Came out of a $25 GameCube lot that I bought. So um, the system sells for 48. I split up the controllers, and then any games I make money on. So it's a pretty good deal. The GameCube ones when I buy them. So especially that controller, it's more rare. Um, here's a game that I already sold once: Mario Party 4. Uh, shipped it out. The person said it works fine, but their kids already have Mario Party 4, so they didn't need this one. I had free return set up, so they just returned it. Uh, eBay approved. I'm paying for it. Got it back, and then I resold it again for 35 It does work. It's the same game. I thought it might be a switcheroo, but I don't think it was. I think they honestly just made a mistake. So Frustrating a little bit, yes, but it's just part of the business. Um, I try not to let returns get to me anymore. Especially when you're doing enough volume, it's a little bit easier just to you know, swallow the, the need to just curse somebody out or, you know, just tell them what's up or fight every single return. Sometimes you just let it go and go from there. I'm not saying bend over and let people take advantage of you, but sometimes it's just not worth it on some stuff. So um, other people might feel differently, but that's how my business model is. And obviously not to take away from people who may not have the same volume. So one return really does mess with things or pulls money out of you know, when you needed it for something else or what have you. So I totally understand that side of the coin too. But for me, I try not to let it get to me. Um, Department 56, Snow Village Halloween. So people say don't list Halloween stuff or seasonal stuff any time of the year because you won't make any money. I always disagreed with that. Um, I try to list it whenever, get it up, get it stored. I might pay a couple, some money over time, a few months worth of listing fees, 10 cents or whatever it is for my store. But for me, I'd rather have stuff up and ready because you never know who might be looking when. Um, this is Castle Blackstone. It's a really good um, set by Department 56. The, some of this stuff goes really well. I took a $65 best offer on it. Um, I probably could have got a little bit more if I waited, but mine does have a... The flag is broken off, and there's a couple of... Um, like, there's some damage, I think, to one of these little parts of the window, and I think a couple of the tree pieces have broken off, so... It's far from perfect. It does still work though, the lights and everything. So I paid 10, I sold it for 65 shipped. So happy about that. And it's going somewhere like one state over so it'll be easy to ship. But look out for the Snow Village Halloween. It does pretty well, like I said. Um, these are a bunch of, I think they're Korean. That's what we came to. So if I'm wrong, someone let me know, but I would have already shipped them by now. So, um, but they're a bunch of books. I got them for free from a lady who, she said her daughter was working with um, Korean speaking children and she had all these books and she just gave them away to me. She was going to throw them away. So I took them and I sold them for like 65 or 70 bucks ship. So we'll go medium out. We'll see how we do. Hopefully I was right. And they are Korean. Like she said, um, these things always do well too. These are DeWalt, um, battery chargers, really any brand you can make money on. Some just go for more. This one had, um, Snelson on there. So had a name on it. And some white out there, as you can see. Um, I got these out of the same lot that I bought that Pin Seeker, the Bush, um, the Bushnell uh, Rangefinder in. Um, I bought two of these in there as well, and this one sold for 23 ships. So these are awesome. Look out for drill chargers. You can always find like a model number, look them up. Um, you don't have to have the battery or anything. Usually I'll plug them in. Some of them, the lights will pop on, but there'll be no battery, so they'll turn off. If it comes with the battery, you can always save it just to see if it shows that it charges but um, I've had re really good success with these I think only one time has one of my drill chargers I thought it worked and someone told me it didn't and who knows if they were telling the truth or not but um, only one time out of probably 25 or something whatever it is so uh, pretty good track record here's an iPhone 8 um, 64 gig box got like $11 for this I think it is it's not a whole lot but happy to get rid of it um, you got to be careful on which ones you buy now. The older ones don't sell that well. Here's a Black & Decker automatic jar opener. Paid two bucks for this at the um, at a garage sale. It's really clean. I don't think they used it. I mean, I doubt they really needed that many jars open anyway. So, um, who would? It's kind of like something I would see as pointless. But maybe if you're like older and you just don't have the strength. You might use it more. I don't know. But um, it was 2 bucks, and I tested it out. It works, and it sold for 43 shipped. Some people were getting like 30 shipped for brand new ones. Um, sometimes if you have a good item or there's not a ton of competition, you just got to list it at the right price and just wait a little bit. Mine sold within like a week and a half, 
which is great for me. And mine, I sold mine used. I did say it's in really good condition. The box has wear, but the unit looks really nice. But still, other people sold it for like 30 or 35 shit for a new one. So sometimes just pricing it right and waiting, you can beat, beat out some people who are impatient. Um, and then lastly, two Xboxes, originals. Um... They both come with a controller, an original, the S controller, and the power cord and the AV cable. So you can see they're both the same. I got them all packaged up here. Um, these sold for 65 shipped e each. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. Unless something else sells, which it definitely could. We still have some time left. But if not, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And I hope everyone, again, has had a great Christmas, holiday, New Year, whatever's going on in your life. I wish you all the best in 2019. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know. Take care. Hey guys, two more sales from the weekend. And they actually should have been in the other part of the video, but I forgot to grab them. Uh, they were inside. So they're two GameCubes. As you can see here, uh, this one's got some discoloration on it. This one's a little bit brighter, um, but they still work. I got 48 a piece for them. It comes with a power cord and an AV cable on both of them. No controllers, no games. They are tested. Um, this is how I sell them. They sold within like a day or two each so they do pretty well at 48 bucks a little scuff here we'll try to clean that up a little bit too so if anything else else, i'll let